Good morning, it's day three of my trip in Morocco and I'm in Marrakesh and it's 8.30 in the morning, so time for me to get ready. Let's go. Oh, there it is. I'm ready to go. I'm in the kitchen here in Medina Hostel. Riyadh right here. That's my room actually with that window. Today is Monday, October 21st and welcome to my vlog as I step out of my Riyadh. A few moments later. <laughs> it's 11 a.m. and now I am at the Majorelle Gardens. Jardin Majorelle. My favorite thing in the whole world are gardens. This is the Yves Saint Laurent Memorial. Such a beautiful place right here. This is my kind of place, my element right here. Very tranquil space right here. Let me show you around. This is Cafe Majorelle. Until you turned me This is the Villa Studio, which is now a museum. The color is known as Majorelle Blue. To my right is Boutique Majorelle. This is Gallery Love.
Wow, that was an amazing experience. I checked out the uh, Majorelle Gardens, and then I also, I bought the combination ticket, so I also went to the Berber Museum, and also finally the Yves Saint Laurent um, Museum, and all three are must sees. And I didn't think I would like the Yves Saint Laurent one. I, I was gonna like um, leave that one out the list, but actually I learned a lot from him and his quotes. So. I met these lovely um, people right here. Hi. Hello. And that's like one of my favorite things about traveling, as you, you guys all know. Those of you who watch my videos, tell them your names. I'm Oki. And I'm Lou. And where are you um, two lovely gals from? Portugal. And Portugal and Belgium. Wow. But a bit Moroccan too. Just uh, wow. men mentally, you know. Oh, how nice. And tell me what you thought of this experience. This is one of the most wonderful places in Marrakesh to visit. Um, you have like a diversity here, like the gardens and the architecture of the new museum, the collection of Saint Laurent. As you said, his notes, you can learn a lot about fashion, about uh, patterns, about... Uh, Did you watch the video though? Because he yeah. goes, they ask him, what is your greatest um, asset? And he says, my will. And then what is your um, what is your weakest asset? And he says, my shyness. And all that stuff is very inspirational. I found it very inspirational. And you also have a wonderful and unique collection for the whole of Morocco, which is the Berber Museum. Mm -hmm. It's a very small nucleus of uh, exhibition here in the gardens of Majorel, and that's really worth it. It's unique. There's nothing like that in the whole Morocco. Definitely yeah. got a... Um, yeah. Like it really shows you, all of this really shows you a time that has passed uh -huh. and it can give us a bit of inspiration for how we dress because sometimes we don't, we like the new generation, you know, we don't um, look at fashion in this way, we look at it in a completely different way and it's nice to merge both. I agree with you. Actually, I think for the newer generation, you guys should actually go back to that era where it was all classic stuff right there. You know, everybody was classic. He was a fan of um, Picasso. He was a fan of 19th century um, classical composers. Nowadays, I see you guys just going into, you guys go back to decades like the 80s or, you know, the 90s. But I think you, sh you guys should just go back throw it back to the classics do you agree yeah. yes but it's true that in our generation like we really look for comfort uh -huh, uh -huh. and we like to be able to be everywhere and be flexible with what we're wearing uh -huh, uh -huh. so it's kind of like we're wearing something that could go we could go there or we could go there or there and it's kind of working for all if we're just doing classy then it's really hard to merge into other things, you know? I think you could so. probably create a, um, a, a new design that's yeah, classic sure. comfy though. Yeah, for sure. Like for me, if I were to de design stuff, I would design um, versatile and um, to be able to wear in all different environments. Like, like yeah. more future yeah. wear. That yeah, would be yeah. my thing. Future yeah. comfort wear and with, with the clean look. Yeah, yeah but, but for the 80s, like, uh, it was super futuristic, you know, he had some collections that were like space collections. Did you see the the dress that is all embroidered, the black evening dress with the breasts that go like this? This is typical. Oh, like, yeah. That's a futuristic. Yeah, with dress. the cone shape, with the cone shape brassiere. Yeah. Yeah, I saw exactly. that one. Yeah, that's so, wild. That, yeah, it is. I'm going to cut it short right now, but... Hey, it was really nice to meet you, yeah, lovely nice gals. To meet you. And uh, enjoy your time in Morocco. You too. Thank you. On the next episode, I make my way to Bahia Palace, but get lost in the souks. Will I get there before closing time? I make a lot of new friends along the way. Oh, oh. This guy. This camera. Hello. Where are you from? I'm from. And welcome to Morocco. Hi. Where are you ladies from, anyways? Friends. Friends. Nice, yeah. je parle français. Uh, merci. <laughs> Mais, uh, bon, bonsoir, mademoiselle. Comment ça va? Très bien, merci. Et vous? Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that, that one was hard. Youssef. Youssef, Shokran, Shokran. Thank you. Abdul. Abdul. Hisham, Hisham. Shokran, Shokran. Name is Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Ibrahim for Marrakesh. Marrakesh. Hi. Got this beautiful Moroc Thank you. Moroccan girl sitting in, sitting next to me. Uh, what? I visit the iconic Gemma El Fina. 
earlier today they got like the snake charmers and the guys with the monkeys now it's more packed and more like a street fair it happens every night and I try a bevy of foods Including snails, rabbit tagine, and a Moroccan tea that will knock your socks off. Whoa! And of course, dinner is not complete without ice cream for dessert. What is your YouTube channel? Uh, Eddie Wu Wanderlust. Mm -hmm. E D D I E W O O Wanderlust. Okay. Make sure to subscribe. Stay tuned. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on your notification bell. Like and share this video because we are just getting started in Morocco.